Let's start by opening RevoScan and connecting the scanner. On RevoScan's homepage, click the settings icon to set the default file location and select your language. Once set, click save. Click on the learning tab to access the user guide, relevant scanner tutorials, and more. The RevoScan 5 tutorial video can be found on the homepage by clicking on the video in the bottom left corner. To get to the scanning interface, click on New Project. Click on the accessories on the menu bar to connect the dual axis turntable or handheld stabilizer. Alternatively, download Revo Assistant from your phone's app store to control accessories. Before starting the scan, adjust the scan settings on the right side of the interface. So, let's take a look at the various settings you can select. First, select the scan's accuracy. Depending on your requirements, select High Accuracy Mode, Standard Accuracy Mode, or High Speed Mode. Next, select the Tracking Mode. For objects with rich features, such as faces or sculptures, choose the Feature Stitching Mode for scanning. For objects with fewer geometric features or flat surfaces, place markers on their surface and select the Marker Tracking Mode for the scan. Next, set the object type. Depending on the object type you're scanning, choose General, Dark, or Face. Then, decide whether you need a color scan or not. Enabling the Base Removal feature allows RevoScan to automatically detect and remove unwanted flat surfaces around the target object, such as tables and floors. If needed, use the Scan Distance Adjustment slider to adjust the depth camera's working distance to remove any unwanted items in the foreground or background of the scanning area. Once you've set the scan settings, it's time to adjust the depth and RGB camera settings to ensure a quality scan is captured. In the Depth Camera Preview window, you can enable automatic exposure or adjust the exposure settings manually. When adjusting the exposure manually, an object with mostly blue areas on its surface in the depth camera window indicates underexposure, while mostly red indicates overexposure. To capture a color model, enable color scanning and use either automatic exposure or manually adjust the RGB exposure settings until the object's colors look clear and sharp in the preview window. If the scanner has flash LEDs, click this button to turn them on or off. Enabling the flash LEDs will help to remove any shadows that may affect the quality of the color scan. Before starting the scan, click here to select whether you want to capture the object in continuous scanning or single shot mode. Ensure the distance between the scanner and the object is optimal using the scan distance indicator bar on the right side of the model's main view. It'll turn green when the scanner is at the optimal distance from the object. Clicking start will begin the scan. Click it again if you need to pause the scan. If you are unsatisfied with the current scan, click Cancel to remove all scan data. Click Finish when the scan is completed. To toggle the model's color on or off, use the Color Display button in the upper right corner of the main view. Clicking and dragging the 3D coordinates next to it allows you to adjust the viewing angle. Go to the display in the menu bar to change the view settings. You can select one of the following options if needed, orthographic view, show bounding boxes, show rotational ball, switch model material properties, or more. After the scan is complete, you'll have a collection of point clouds that must be processed to create the final 3D model. You can choose between one-click or manual editing. If you choose manual editing, you'll need to manually complete each step, such as fusion, meshing, and texture mapping. Firstly, perform fusion. You can select either advanced or standard fusion methods. After selecting your fusion method, adjust the point distance. Once everything is set, click apply to perform fusion. You can stop the process by clicking Cancel. After Fusion, you can use the Fusion Editing tools to further refine the point cloud. To remove isolated data, select the Isolation tool, click Detect, 
and then apply to remove isolated point cloud data separated from the main object. Use overlap detection to remove overlapping and unnecessary data in the point cloud. Use the smoothing option to remove noise and smooth the point cloud. Use the simplification tool to reduce the file size and complexity of the model. After completing point cloud fusion, let's continue and mesh the point cloud to create a solid 3D object. Mesh quality represents the density and level of detail in the generated mesh model. You can choose whether to enable automatic hole filling. Adjusting its ratio will determine the size of holes detected and filled. The meshing tools for isolation, smoothing, and simplification work in a similar way to their point cloud counterparts. The manual hole filling tool automatically detects holes and enables them to be selected and filled with either flat or curved surfaces. If you performed a colored scan, click Texture Mapping to apply the colored data to the scan model. The right toolbar tools are for selecting and editing model data. For example, you can use the cropping tool to crop or the lasso or rectangle tool to select areas on the model. Right-clicking on the 3D model window will bring up a menu with various shortcuts like Undo, Select All, Invert Selection, Keyframe Editing, and more. Multiple models can be combined in the model merging interface to create the final model. This can be done using either feature alignment or marker point alignment. When using feature alignment, RevoScan will automatically identify key overlapped features on models to merge them. If using marker point alignment, three or more points at corresponding positions need to be manually marked on each of the models for alignment. Click Confirm to merge them. After you've finished post-processing your model, it can export it by clicking here or here. To export an STL file, select the mesh model for export. To delete or rename a model, click the More icon and select the one you want. To manage project files, select File in the menu bar. From there, you can create a new project, open an existing one, import files from a mobile device or Miraco, save the project, and perform other operations. If you have any questions or need assistance, click the Help button in the menu bar to access the user manual, get online support, and more. You can also click on Feedback to leave your suggestions and send log files. The menu bar has been updated to be fully compatible with Mac OS. You can now interact with it like you would with any other software that is optimized for Mac OS. Finally, please note that RevoSkin 5 software is continuously being updated. Please stay tuned for further improvements and updates.